So this attack does 70 damage for each energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. How much damage is that going to be? It's 630 damage, and that'll do it. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network. Lucario V-Star released today, so you know we're going to try that out in a brand new deck on PTCGO. Lucario V-Star is a fighting type Pokemon that evolves from Lucario V, and it has 270 HP. The first attack, Fighting Knuckle, costs Fighting and two Colorless and does 120 damage. But if your opponent's active Pokemon is a V Pokemon, it does 240 damage instead, which is a considerable amount of damage. Lucario V-Star's V-Star power is an attack called R-Star, and for Fighting Colorless, it does 70 for each energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon, so you can do some big damage with this attack. Naturally, one of the most creative ways to build decks right now is with Arceus V-Star. It gives you so much room for innovation. Uh, this list is actually influenced by Dalton Achetta's 7th place list from the Sao Paulo Regionals that happened recently, so shout out there. Uh, except, you know, we're tossing a 2-2 Lucario V-Star into the deck, so that's something different for sure. The Lucario V that came out with the Lucario V-Star does have an interesting first attack, Crushing Punch for two colorless energy, which can be satisfied by a double turbo energy. It does 50 damage and you discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. So Lucario V-Star is obviously gonna be good because Arceus V-Star is great and that's weak to fighting. So Lucario V-Star already has that going for it. I've uploaded my list to PokemonCard.io and I'll put a link to that in the description down below. Be sure to check out my sponsors, PotonStore.com and CardTuberGames.com. Use code CLEO for 5% off at both of those websites. And also subscribe to Beast Coast Pokemon. Links for all of that are in the description down below. Subscribe to this channel for daily Pokemon TCG content, and please leave a like and a comment. It helps a ton. And now let's check out how I did on the PTCGO ladder with Arceus Lucario. Oh yeah, we'll go first for Shorzy's. That is a pretty nice hand we got here. Pretty good, pretty good. Playing against an Arceus deck, okay. Uh, we're definitely going to want an Arceus, but we also want Lucario. Can we get both? Can we reasonably get both? Yeah, I would suppose so. Okay, we have another Arceus V-Star in the deck. That's good. So we can get rid of this Arceus V-Star. And keep the Marnie in case we get pathed. Could have kept the Arceus, but I'd rather play around Path of the Peak and keep the, uh, keep the Marnie. Oh, Crushing Hammer? Why are we doing this? Who hurt you? And we got Single Strike Tower of Darkness in the Arceus deck. We got some weird stuff going on here. Okay, it's a Dora Luden deck. And they actually are out here hitting us with the turn one crushing hammer in the Duraldon deck. Not what I was expecting. Okay, and we Marnie into a pretty mediocre hand. We'll just go ahead and attach your pass. <laughs> oh my god, the crushing hammers. Oh my lord, okay. Crushing hammers turn one and turn two. How do they function as a deck with the four crushing hammers in it and one of the bad Duraludon? The world may never know. But we've got to trick up our sleeve. Um, Lucario V Stars, V Star attacked us 70 for each energy on the opponent's board. 
so we can one shot a Duraldon V Max when they're probably not expecting it. It's a shame we don't have Raihan in our hand here. I did already get rid of a Raihan, but I played two. So the big plan will be Lucario V Stars V Star attack to one shot at Duraldon. Um, I don't know what we're doing about everything else, but that's what we're doing about the Duraldon V Max. The second Duraldon is going to be a pain to take care of. And by a pain to take care of, I mean I don't know what we can do about it. Arceus. I'm not down any boss yet, so we can get rid of that hand. No Lucario V Star. No Arceus V Star. Definitely need to big charm that. Okay. So hopefully they take the big, oh no, 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 not another crushing hammer. Okay, okay. Hopefully they take the bait and they knock out one of my Arceus's with Duraldon. They're not going to. They didn't take the bait. Huh. Well, what do I do about that? I can't even do anything because I was planning on getting knocked out. We'll do that. Okay, good. They didn't bring up the Lucario. And if they brought up the Lucario, we had some problems. Now we get to start playing. So we're going to Raihan, a Fighting Energy, to the Lucario. And then we're going to grab Arceus V Star. Oh, wait, we can't Starburst because we also, because we need to use Aura Star. Crap. but I don't want to use my V-Star attack on Arceus. I need to use it on Duraldon. Okay, we just have to... Yeah, we just have to Crobat for what we need here. We'll bench, bench, Crobat. Oh, so close. We needed this plus an energy to attach for turn. Yeah, I don't see any way that we win this. We'll go ahead and Crushing Punch. Discard the double turbo energy. Uh, 
Uh, they have another one. Please bench it. Give us a chance. Nope. Okay. They know what they're doing. We just lose this one. I don't think we're beating the Duraludon deck. We tried. Okay. Um... This is tough because I don't want something just getting stuck in the active, but I also want to save my Crobat. Let's give them Hoopa V. They'll knock it out with Duraludon, and then we R star the Duraludon V Max. They're only down one boss, so they probably just win next turn, but at least we get to use our new R-Star V-Star power attack. That's what really matters. So this attack does 70 damage for each energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. How much damage is that going to be? It's 630 damage, and that'll do it. Then, of course, if the opponent has a boss, we just lose. Okay, let's uh, let's try a little better next time. We're against Mew this time, and we do have some dark Pokemon to take care of this with. So uh, we'll have to see how Crobat and Hoopa hold up. Lucario will definitely not be the all-star here. <laughs> Actually, if they attach enough energy to the board, then Lucario's R-Star could maybe do something, but I'm sure we'll end up using Star Birth instead. We'll start out with Battle VIP for Arceus and Badoof. And we'll bench Hoopa. And then we're going to discard these two for Crobat. If Crobat could okay, Crobat VMAX is in the deck, very good. Look for energy attachment here. Don't get energy attachment, but that's a-okay because we have a Marnie still. Grab Ditto. And we'll Marnie. And then from there, we hope they don't boss our Crobat. That's the plan. I'd say it's a pretty good plan. It's, it's a horrible plan. They always have it. Genesec drawing up the hand there to five, and here's Alessa Sparkle. That's beautiful. That's what we want to see. That is not a boss's orders. 
So that's good. That's great. Alessa, all you want. Sparkle it up, baby. The difficult thing here is I need to Ultra Ball, but I want to Ultra Ball away an energy, but I don't have an energy. Okay, this is great. They didn't hit boss, so we can probably figure out something to do here. Arnie, okay. Um, if we Starbirth for energy quick ball, we can quick ball away the energy and then Raihan it to the Crobat and then search out for the last energy. Yeah, that's probably what we have to do here. We could also get Badoof, but that's risky. So we'll just do this. Evolve Arceus and we'll activate Starbirth and we'll get a Dark Energy and a Quick Ball. Go ahead and Quick Ball that. You know, the thing is, if they didn't knock me out, they I couldn't do anything this turn. I think that's pretty obvious as well. So I guess there could have been a world where they just don't knock me out, where they like leave the Mew V active and just... um use energy mix for a turn i think that was a possible play we'll just go grab another uh badoof and we'll raihan and we're just going to grab another energy it can be fighting so we'll grab fighting and we'll max cutter for the knockout Want to give us something playable here and no playable cards so if crowbat v max gets knocked out we're in trouble oh yeah here come the power tablets Sitting down the hand, get a Mew V Max or another benched Pokemon, then they get to draw more cards. But they're going to get the Mew V Max. They already already played one Power Tablet. They need a Choice Belt plus one more Power Tablet. They also need to attach Energy. They're down zero damage modifiers aside from the one they played this turn already. There's their Energy attachment. And Peony for the other two damage modifiers. Wait. Did they fail the Fog Crystal? Drew Psychic Energy, played Peony. Oh, they can get it back with Training Court. Okay. They, they got it with Fog Crystal, but then they Peonied it away. Unfortunately, no big charm on the Crobat VMAX. And they had the choice belt anyway, so if we had a big charm, it would not have mattered. And 
That's not good. That is not good. Not very good. That needed to be a uh, Raihan. So if they have switched boss, they just win. Um, yeah, not looking good for us. Playing dark Pokemon in your deck does not equal a win versus Mew V Max, remember that. There's Cram for the switch or the boss, whichever piece they need. taking some time to think about this Kramomatic. So they must not already have everything they need in the hand. So they Kramomatic for something and then didn't play it. And now, Fusion Strike System for one. They're only down two switch and zero boss. I have no idea what just happened. There's the double turbo energy that doesn't matter anymore. So I guess I should have attached active and not here. That was a mistake. I was thinking if I don't get a double turbo energy and I get a boss, I could boss up a Genesect and then attach here in Trinity Charge. But that was not correct. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Okay, I guess that goes here. At this point, we should have just attached their last turn and hope for the best, maybe. But they chromomatic for something. They've got to have, like... Okay, here's another chromomatic. Yeah, that, that's got to be game now. Surely, all you need is boss's orders. Okay, there you go. Well played. You don't need the power tab. You got choice belt. Pretty poor start, but we're gonna stick it out. We'll see what happens. Our opponent's got the blinged out Mew deck with the blinged out sleeves, deck box. Okay, maybe it's not blinged out. They don't have reverse hollow VIP pass. They have all the full art Pokemon though. If 
If they get a turn one knockout, this hand's kind of hopeless. And by kind of hopeless, I mean very hopeless. All right, there's step one. There's the Elisa. Just an energy mix from the opponent. Okay. Um, let's see what we can do with that. Clear down a boss. Sure. We'll uh, actually let's collapse stadium first. We'll probably just lose the or choreo. It's definitely Ori. Just discard the Ori. Oh, they discarded Genesec. That's not correct. Okay. We'll attach it in Marnie. Do that. Um... We're going to keep the boss's orders for next turn. Um, I'm going to... Well, I was going to grab a Bibberol, but apparently we prized one Bidoof and two Bibberol. Grabbing a Crobat. Wook Ball, get Arceus... Pass. Now just a simple boss's orders takes out our Hoopa. Yeah, all they need is boss's orders. So we're gonna take out the Meloetta. We'll get Rye Hunt and Double Turbo. And I 
I think we just want to get Crobat V Max. We'll take out the Meloetta so that threat's gone, then attach these energies to Crobat. Now, I wasn't necessarily building this deck to beat Mu V Max, and um, if I had Mu V Max a little more in mind, would have probably left Path to the Peak in this deck. I was definitely more so concerned about trying to show off Lucario V Star. But you know, the ladder's given us Mu V Max, so we're seeing what we could do with it. Okay, they burnt uh, double rope. The collapse stadium's actually hurting them if they have to play double rope just to draw cards. And now a switch. So they are down uh, double rope and one switch. So sometimes Collapse Stadium hurts them. Not obviously not as much as Path of the Peak, but it can still be a nice card um, to disrupt the Mu V Max deck a bit while not turning off your own powers. The Collapse Stadium really make them brick here. Yeah. It would seem like it. Hmm. We're out of basic energy. I think I want to grab this ditto. We have to attack with Crobat V Max because of the Oracorio. That stinks. It is what it is. So we have to boss up a Mew. And Max Cutter. We do have to leave our Crobat V Max out in the active. And we are down our choice belt, so we can't actually knock out any of the V's with our Arceus. Uh, let's see, they're down. They're down zero damage modifiers, so that's scary. UV Max comes into play. Now they need a uh, choice belt and two power tablets or three power tablets to knock out the Crobat V Max. And they don't win the game with that, but I'd say they essentially win with that. 
because all they need to do after is just retreat and boss um actually no they need to retreat switch and boss and let's remember oh they're down three boss not only are they down three switching cards but they're down three boss okay this game's more winnable than i thought that's amazing that they're down three boss beautiful so that's game gg okay we beat a mew that's good but we want to show off lucario v star other arceus deck hopefully this one is not arceus duraladon we know how that one went poorly sick this is our target audience this is what we want to uh this is what we want to beat with lucario for sure we're gonna bench lucario they're scared um we're on a quick ball away crowbat v max to get a crowbat v and attach here boss up the other arceus misplay benching double arceus because they probably don't play air balloons and then we're going to Crobat. Ooh, nice. We get Battle VIP, so we'll go ahead and do this. And then we might as well use the other Battle VIP, right? So. Yeah, we'll just do this. And pass most if this is straight arceus then they're not playing balloon or switch typically so you don't want to bench that second arceus uh without good reason Because a lot of times this will happen. Not a lot of times, but it's certainly a possibility. And if the opponent has like a mass start and like their best play is just boss and arc and stall for a turn, that's a very reasonable play knowing that straight Arceus lists don't play balloon or switch or rope typically. They could still get an attack off with a Melanie play, though. We'll have to see if that's possible. Might be possible here. Wait. Or do they play a way to get that Arceus out of the active? They do, they play Air Balloon, but that's not a knockout. One card away from a knockout to be specific. And we get the Lucario V-Star, oh yeah. And then we'll uh... We'll just Marnie here. They have one card in their hand, so they like this Marnie, but we need the Marnie. We don't really get a choice. Uh, luckily, this does have a V-Star attack, and we didn't hit a double turbo, and we didn't hit an Arceus V-Star, so we have to use Aura Star as the attack this turn. And that's going to do a lot of damage. We're doing 840 damage with Aura Star. Our hand is still very poor. Would have loved a Marnie there.
needing to use R star definitely sucks because that means Arceus V star is no longer an out to cards. However, Badoof could help. Ultra Ball and Raihan are probably <clears throat> Ultra Ball and Raihan are probably our best top decks. An early malevolent charge, threatening that, okay. And a capture energy to the Inteleon, setting up some backup single prize attackers. I like it. Just the dark energy. I think we're kind of due for double turbo. Yep, just like this one. basic energy left. We don't want to draw more uh, cards right now though because we don't want to draw on the energy. We want to try and charge the energy into play. This is always becoming another Arceus. Uh, dark here. Dark active, maybe? And we'll go dark, dark, and then fighting Lucario.
they can take the knockout here. Oh man, then all they need is a boss. And yeah, they are set up very well here to take the game. I guess we can Marnie them. That seems fine. Would have loved Big Charm last turn. Big Charm doesn't save the Crobat from being knocked out by that. I guess we can do this because of like choice belts plus pings. That probably makes the most sense. Then we'll get an energy back. They're only down one boss, so it should be easy enough for them to win. Just boss up the Crobat, Training Court, and Energy. There you go. So there was that one turn where I could have collapsed Stadium with the way the Crobat, and I considered doing it, but I wanted the Training Court to stick, and that is what lost me the game, unfortunately. GG. So Lucario V Star did not work out perfectly today. We got to experiment with the card a little bit, but uh, definitely let me know in the comments down below if Lucario V Star is working out better for you. Is it just too early to play Lucario V Star? Does my deck have too much going on? Do we need to wait for Gutsy Pickaxe and really focus on Lucario V Star more? Or is it just a mediocre card? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, thanks for watching today. I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.